Right, what I'm going to do tonight is put a CIS onto an office jet J4580. J4580. There's two or three models just about the same, they'll all fit the same way. And by watching this video, you'll see how many of the HPs all fit the same way the CIS, it's just they look different. So people are a bit frightened about getting a CIS because it isn't in my video, their model. But they're all pretty much the same. If you look through my videos, you'll see something that resembles yours. It's just the outer casing and everything that looks different. Inside, they're just about the same. Right, to start with, we've got the cartridges there connected to the pipes. This here that I'm moving, that's just a light. Here we've got the bottles. One, two, three, four air bungs in there. Stand at the side. Must always be on the same level as the printer. Don't have them higher must be the same level as a printer it is an absolute must if you look here I've already stuck that hinge there that comes with the kit stick it back just stick it onto there and that will clip close later now I'm going to come down and I'm going to bring this light down right if you look in here there's another hinge see that just sticks up there it's got the sticky back plastic on it just hinges up and you want it see this little mark here this is where the door catches actually that is in line with that so that's a good marker for you to put that so you've got your hinges into place we've got everything ready actually you must remember this on the same level as the printer put your four air filters in take these small bungs out the top you must do them right let's see let's get the CIS into the printer Right, I've moved the uh, lighting around to try and make it brighter under here for you. And while the video's been off, I've taken these green clips off the cartridges. You just clip them off. And also these little tags, you just peel them off. They're just to protect it in transit. I've got the printer switched off and the power out so that this will move freely. And what I want to do is move it to the left. That's a cartridge holder so I can put the cartridges in. So get them there and see this bar here, feed behind it and through that's how we get the cartridges in and then we push the cartridge holder back to the right I just turn the camera a bit that's it and then we get the cartridges in as we would normally put cartridges into this printer black to the right color to the left as we look at it and there they are clipped in now let's see what we do here we get this um, piping and it's going to come straight across with no twists see that straight across there it's not great lighting I know you can't see a lot but we've got to make sure that it's not twisted it's got to come straight across and then it's got to curl back on itself still no twisting so it's like that if you can see no twists straight out once you've got it straight across like that coming back on itself what you have to do is get the top part and clip it into the clip under there and that's clipped in so as you can see now it's coming out from the left around there curling up through the clip and back across this front then that goes round there if you look there we hold that onto there We'll come across to the right, carry on round there, through there, and clip that. Right, take a clip. That's it, it's a bit of a tight one there, maybe I bent it a bit. But that's clipped the piping into place there. And then you can put the bottles wherever you want, whatever position you want, like that. So let's just uh, recap that you've got the cartridges in coming to the left remember no twist it's got to be perfectly straight across the left curling up goes up like that through the clip under here out the front across here round there and clipped into there that's how the piping goes the CIS is practically ready to what we'll do though first to make sure everything is okay because the power's off we can move this by hand we've got to make sure this curl is the right length so take that 
all the way across to the right and it is there's plenty of room there it's not trapping and it's not too slack neither causing the jam at the left so we'll now push them all the way back to the right and we've got to now put the power lead in now I put the power lead in and it's warmed up and everything now the CS won't work because the printer thinks that the door is open the catch is here and it's these little catches down here push that so that it knows that the door is closed but with a little bit of movement we can get that door up without having to mess around with catches so I'm just going to move back so you can see everything I'm doing you see this piping here just make sure it's right up with one hand push the other one up and that door is closed if you can listen to this you'll hear the printer moving see the printer is moving inside the door is now closed now it's telling me to press start to start alignment we've got the paper in ready to do it we're going to press OK to start the alignment so this will tell us whether the CIS is going to work there you go it's starting to move around now there, it's taking the paper through and there is the alignment page coming out working perfectly okay with the CIS in see it's printing perfectly fine so that is a pretty easy one there's two or three in this range of printers just at slightly different numbers they all work the same way and that uh, installation is very similar to another one that I've already got a video on lots and lots of HP printers are the same they just look different here inside under there they're pretty much the same there you go look the alignment page is printing out so that's about it really it's up and running isn't it nice quick one just to recap keep your bottles these bottles here keep them on the same level there they cannot be higher if you put them higher they will leak ink all the way through always make sure that your piping's up push the door the catch is here as soon as that's engaged the printer will start working I can't see any other thing that I need to tell you really it's all working thanks for watching